two years ago I was watching something on television. I was watching Australian Story and it was the story of um, how Jim Burke, um, a Vietnam vet and his group, they, went, they were going back to Vietnam to um, retrieve the bodies of six men who were left behind during the war. And it was just like, it was such an incredible story, but I loved, there were particular lines in the documentary that I really loved. And one was this idea of you don't leave your mates behind. And the other one was just looking at the family members, especially those who had never known their father. They never met their father. It happened 42 years ago. And still that intense um, love and grief that they felt of you know, losing this person. And I remember when I was watching that, it was almost literally like Tom sat next to me and said, that's my family story. And I remember for days I would... I'd go for a walk because I go for a walk every day with my dog and it was like Tom was following me and it was almost like I was having a conversation but I don't but it's an internal conversation of Tom I'm not writing your story so go away like I don't know who you are I can't write a male first person I, I don't understand but he kept on coming at me and I was also worried about the fact that he belonged to another book and I thought who's he going to bring back from that book and a lot of the characters that came to me were new characters, they were his family, but I still needed some of those key people from the past. So I just listened and listened, and it, it was a while before I put pen to paper or you know fingers to keyboard, but that's what I also do now, probably more than I did at the beginning of my writing career. I hang out with them a lot more in my head before I commit to writing 